Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to do a quick walkthrough and review of Windows Phone 7. So if you haven't seen a Windows Phone device yet, and because of Microsoft's strange marketing campaign, I'm going to assume that you didn't even know there was a Windows Phone. The interface is very slick looking. It's full of pretty transitions, uniform layouts that is carried on in most third-party apps even, and large simple text menus. It's definitely different and, in my opinion, it's different in a good way. It's not trying to be another OS, and it has an air of Microsoft to it, but we'll get to that later. Now one big question I get about Windows Phone from the six or seven people in the world who know what it is, is how well does it perform? Okay, as you can see, it's pretty responsive and it's smooth as butter. Uh, it's responsive enough also that it just seems to be responding to your touch naturally. There's no struggling, no disconnected feeling with your finger to the device. It reminds me of why people are so obsessed with iPhones and can't quite put their finger on why. Besides the smoothness of scrolling that is noticed, uh, apps generally load pretty quickly as well. It's definitely on par with other OS's like Android and iOS. Okay, now there is one downside to Windows Phone 7, uh, and that's the fact that there's no multitasking. So you can't open an app, then another, and then jump back to the original one uh, and have it be where you left it. Uh, it literally reopens the app and you have to start over, which is very annoying when playing a game, for example. Okay, one thing Microsoft did get right with the OS is contact management and Facebook integration. The contact list is simple and easy to navigate. It also has a large, simple text layout that is throughout the OS, which I personally like, and I'm sure your grandma just thinks is the bee's knees. Um, in this People Hub, for example, uh, your contact lists from Google Exchange and Facebook are all integrated into one long list. Uh, Mango is to bring Twitter and LinkedIn into that as well, but that's down the road. Uh, it'll even grab your friend's Facebook profile pictures and put them into your contact list and update them as your friends update their pictures online, which is cool, right? Yes, other OSs do this too, but it's nice to see it built into the operating system. Okay, another neat feature regarding Facebook and the People Hub is the ability to see your friends' Facebook statuses and their entire Facebook feed. Which, of course, is great for stalking your friends, your ex-girlfriends, random people. Oh, wow, and in the bathroom mirror with the flash on shot. That never gets old. Now, Facebook is also integrated into other aspects of the OS as well. For example, pictures. Uh, when you go to pictures, you can swipe over to what's new and see a feed of all the Facebook images your friends have uploaded. In addition to that, you can go to All and see a list of all the images on your device as well as all of your Facebook albums. Okay, now let's quickly go through all of the basic applications on the device just to give you an idea of how each one works. First, we'll do the phone. Uh, you can see the dialer here. It's nice. It's very responsive. And the call log is easy to read and simple as it should be. Okay, next is a messaging app. Uh, it also has its large, easily readable text. It's simple, no fancy icons, etc. Also, your friend's name is displayed very large at the top of the conversation, in case you forgot who you were talking to. You can also click on it to get to the contact card. Email is no exception when it comes to the simplistic large text layout that we keep running into. Neither of the fun transitions. Uh, mail is easy to read, quick to load, and as a neat feature, when you swipe left or right, you can get to unread, flagged, and urgent mail quickly and easily. Okay, now the browser's load times are pretty much on par with any other smartphone device like Android and iOS. And again, we have promises of faster load times with the Mango update due this summer. Unfortunately, the browser does not support Flash or HTML5 at this time, so that is a little bit disappointing. I mean, just look at our site's carousel. It doesn't even move. Sad. Since this is a Microsoft product, they are using Bing Maps instead of the industry standard 
Google Maps. Uh, this isn't necessarily bad or a good thing, it's just different. Uh, as Bing Map adds more functionality to it, it'll be on par with Google Maps. One cool little feature in Bing Maps, though, is that it automatically switches to satellite view whenever you zoom in enough. Ooh, ah. Xbox Live integration is undoubtedly cool. Uh, you can link your gamer tag from your actual Xbox, show your animated avatar, make changes to them, and have those changes actually display on your Xbox and vice versa. You can message friends, track achievements, and do most things that you can do regarding your Xbox Live account that you can do on your actual Xbox. Now, at this time, there is no head-to-head -head play over Xbox Live like there is with your console, but Microsoft has said that that feature is coming in the future. Your Windows Phone, of course, runs Zune, which is Microsoft's music and video store, kind of like Microsoft's iTunes. One cool feature that it has that iTunes doesn't is the Zune Pass. For about $15 a month, you can download and listen to unlimited songs on your Windows Phone device for as long as you're a member. In an era where less and less people buy CDs, I have to say that it is the only way that they can make any money off of music from our generation. So one place where Windows Phone definitely needs to improve is the apps. The store is pretty nice, it's well organized, etc., but there just aren't enough apps. I find myself missing certain apps that I use all the time with other operating systems. Hopefully though, as Windows Phone 7 becomes more popular, that will change. In conclusion, Windows Phone has great potential. It's different, sleek, and fun to use. There are some things that need to be improved upon, but hopefully we'll see a lot of them fixed in the new Mango update this summer. If you're looking for something simple, fun, and different with great contact management, Facebook integration, and Exchange Office support, Windows Phone 7 is definitely worth a try. Thank you.